Hey, what's going on, guys? First take up here. So the time and year has come again where I always go through all the decent launchers available on the Google Play Store. Launchers that will not slow down your device or intrudes into your privacy and gives you guys the best of the best launchers available for the year. So the new year is here and we're back again with the top 10 selection that is minimal, simple to use, intuitive and at the same time will blow your mind with their features and looks guys welcome to 2021 please don't be stingy with that subscribe button smash it to be a part of this awesome family hit that notification to always get notification whenever i publish new videos okay let's begin so at number 10 we have the skeletal launcher at first i didn't know what to say about this launcher as a matter of fact i still do not know how i feel about this launcher it is bare minimal it is clean with its ui element the simplicity to use is next to none this launcher is like a wife you don't really like that much but you cannot let her go because of just how sweet she is you get that right to summarize it i love it i love the tile based app ui it can be easily used with one hand because of the basic stuff that always at your reach because it is too basic it doesn't have much customization apart from to set colors and clock widgets and that's all. I highly recommend it and I'll say you should go check it out. Moving on, we have the Poseidon Launcher. Uh, man, that sounds like go sit down in pigeon, which means go and sit down. Hold on a second. I don't know who gave this launcher such a name. <laughs> Poseidon, go sit down, go and sit down. Okay, enough of all the jokes, okay? This is not your typical launcher according to the developer. He went ahead and said that the launcher was built from scratch to offer a different experience and yet the ui was heavily inspired by one ui according to him being designed from scratch allows this launcher to be easily optimized for big screen and that i have to agree with him the poseidon launcher has a scrollable fit ui that looks very decent and will definitely please anyone that cares so much about news app notifications and more the tile interface incorporates notifications from different apps, example Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and more. The app drawer reveals big icons with a cleaner look which goes to prove that this launcher was designed for bigger phones. What drew my attention to it was the simplicity of the UI and its function. Long press on the newsfeed gives you options for customization. You can set themes, gestures, widgets, and wallpaper. I just love the intuitive user experience and the whole general look. Make sure you go check it out. Okay, so coming here number 3 is the Yesan Launcher. Yesan is a launcher that focuses more on simplicity and style. It has this unique user interface that offers smooth experience for whatever you intend to, which can be customized to suit your experience. The dashboard areas offers app selection that is hand-picked by AI. Then there's a folder section where you can group your favorite apps in folders and you can create as many folders as you wish. Just make sure to purchase the premium version to have access to all its features. There's also an app drawer and a search icon that will help you find apps instantly. The settings menu doesn't come with much customizable option but what it comes with is more than enough for what it has to offer. You can customize the rounded corners of the home palette, set wallpapers, hide apps, gestures, and more. <laughs> Moving on is the Lunar Launcher. Lunar Launcher is an app anyone with simple lifestyle will quickly fall in love. It is as basic as it gets. It comes with just four apps icon on the home screen by default, but you can add more by simply long pressing on any app on the app drawer and choose to add to favorite. By the way, the home screen is called Favorite. If you swipe to the left, it gives you options for customization, where you can hide certain apps, set wallpaper, change background colors, and set icon visibility. You can decide whether to show apps icon or just show apps with names alone. I just love the simple and intuitive user experience and I would highly recommend you go check it out. Okay, so moving on to our next launcher is Letters Launcher. Hold on, are you surprised to hear that name, Letters? Okay, so this is another launcher that is focused on minimalism. It lets you locate apps or browse apps in alphabetical order. For example, when you tap on A, it will reveal apps that start with letter A. B brings apps that start with letter B and so on. If you tap on the star or the asterisk, it reveals all the apps still in alphabetical order. 
I love it because it is very simple to use and it doesn't require much resources to function properly. When you long press on the home screen, it gives you options for customization. You can set wallpaper, set widgets, go to the home setting, go to more system settings where you can change the UI elements like fonts, gestures, navigations, themes and lots more. What I love so much about it is its simple UI and the simple ways of assessing apps. Just make sure you go check it out. All the links will be in the description. Moving on is before launcher. This launcher has been in existence for quite some time now and it has grown with features and user experience. I love the newly added filter notification panel because it looks so clean. The favorite section has the favorite apps that can be customized or arranged. The app drawer can be sorted out in alphabetical order like size, install dates, recently used ones and more. The settings menu has some new customizable options for themes and style, icon packs, privacy settings and many more. There's a search icon at the lower part of the app drawer. I just love the whole user experience and also like the fact that it can work well on low budget devices. Moving on is Ratio Launcher. This launcher offers more features and functions in a very unique way. It comes with three layouts, which is the tower layout, the root layout, and the tree layout. The root layout offers new fits and weather information, and it is very intuitive. I love the overall clean user interface. The tower layout groups your apps in a very unique way and present them in a tower format. You can set accent colors to any apps for easy visibility and reach. You can also customize it to your own likeness. The three panels bring all your messages from different messages platform all in one place. You can reply message directly without opening the main app. There are a bunch of customizable options in the settings menu. You can add icon packs, hide apps, set different wallpapers and many more. Just make sure you try it out. Moving on we have the white launcher. This launcher packs lots of features than any other launcher that I've mentioned here so far. Yet, it still offers a smooth Android experience. The customizable options in this launcher is endless. The home screen offers lots of interesting features like the sticky notes, the desk quote, picture frame, date and time, and some of your favorite apps. When you swipe to the left, some of your most used apps are arranged in folders. When you swipe to the right, you have the weather information and the free TV app. If you swipe again to the right, you are presented with your daily log that carries your photos, notes, calendar entries, bookmarks and more. When you tap on the white that is located on the home screen, it opens up more settings for themes, wallpapers, palettes, launcher settings and lots more. On the home screen, when you swipe up, it reveals your app drawer. In the app drawer menu, there is option for applets, pets, widgets and palettes. All this adds up to make the user experience more enjoyable. I love the folder animation and the general look of the UI. I highly recommend you go check this particular launcher out. Okay, so moving on to our second option which is the Microsoft Launcher. This is a launcher I would highly recommend if you are solely backed into the Microsoft ecosystem. And also for those who want a well-polished launcher with tons of customizable features and functions. It is super rich in features, I like the glance UI that carries your calendar entries, tags, sticky note and favorite apps. Then there's a news section that gives you all the latest news in non-intrusive manner. And to crown it all, it is totally free with no ads. It is so well polished and it is not resource buggy. It has support for icon packs, theme, fonts and more. If you care so much about user experience and proper functionality, then go check it out immediately. Then our number one launcher on this selection is the tested and trusted, the almighty Nova Launcher. This launcher doesn't require much introduction, but if you are a type that always wants your device to look like a stock Android, always wants the best out of your Android device, then it doesn't get better than Nova. It is a launcher for enthusiasts and non-enthusiasts. It has tons and tons of support for custom themes, widgets, fonts, and many more. It is so well polished as well and it is well suitable for any device. But you know what, just make sure you pay for the Prime version if you want to unlock all its features. So that has been it guys. Which is your favorite launcher so far? 
Are you currently using any launcher on your phone? Tell me about it so I can try it out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye.